Alright, hey guys, it's Retro Gaming Veteran. Uh, I'm back from a hiatus, I guess you could call it. So, just been having a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, which has made it kind of hard to make some videos. So, things have been cleared up now for a little while. So, I'm back here, and we're going to continue on our adventures with doing Pokemon Yellow. So, in our last episode, we got the Thunder Badge, and I made a complete boo-boo and <laughs> totally forgot that you can go down here, talk to this police lady. You have the Thunder Badge. You must be a good trainer. I'd like to think so. I just caught a squirrel that was always getting into mischief. Would you like to take care of it? Yes. And I have a squirtle. Do you want to give a nickname to a squirtle? Yes. So, my Ninja Turtle fans will appreciate this one. So, we're going to call him Toka. <laughs> Alright, take care of Squirtle, please. So, problem with him is he's a level 10. You get them all at level 10, which is alright. But, I mean, as you can see here, I'm already like, almost into the 30s. So... I mean, yeah, so, there we go, we have a Squirtle. Now, the only thing left to do, really, from here, is we have to go and go through Diglett's Cave, so you're going to want to keep your guy who knows cut, because once we get to the end of it. What a surprise, Diglett's dug this long tunnel, and goes right through to Viridian City, which is where we need to go. So... Diglets are gonna come up here like zoo bats. See, like Pikachu's not even out of the ladder yet, and I'm running into a Doug Trio. <laughs> so, I'm gonna actually try to catch this guy. So, Doug Trios actually don't happen here that often, so we're gonna see what we can do. I can't promise anything, but let's see what happens here. I can't paralyze him, so I'm gonna have to do the other the only other status change I got, which is ooh, okay. That could be bad, but we're working on him now, so I just gotta hopefully not die here. Alright, cool. Do what you do, Snoop. And yeah. They don't, like, I don't know the exact percentage of when these guys show up, but it is a possibility. So, what did I miss? Oh, he sand attacked me, that's why. So, we'll just whittle him down here a little bit, because the only other levels I have to really get him was poison powder him again, so that way I kind of waste a move, but... He gets this done to him, so... I'll do it again. I'll take the risk. Alright, now we're gonna start throwing some Pokeballs. Ooh, I only got nine? That ain't good. Oh! Oh, and I got him. Alright. It's been a while since we caught a wild Pokemon, guys. New Pokedex that would be a Doug Trio. It's a mole Pokemon. A team of a team of triplets can burrow over sixty miles an hour. And due to this, some people think it's an earthquake. Do you wanna give a name to Duck Trio? No. Uh, I said no, but okay. So alright. There that is. And we're back. We didn't really even do anything. So, alright. But, what's good about this though is we'll be able to hopefully level up uh, Toka a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll be alright with this. Uh, it's gonna be a long bubble beam. <laughs> yeah, 
Come on, baby. He doesn't know dig yet. I think he learns dig at like 17, 18, something like that. <laughs> and speed fell. That's what's good about bubble too. It's like a drop of speed. <laughs> Alright, trekking on through. Eighteen. Hmm. I'll start it out. We'll see if he gets squirrel and if he goes on dig on me. We're gonna have to swap out. I just wanna try to use Toka as much as I can in here. Whoa, come on. Alright, awesome. That, yeah, like I said, I just want to keep using him as much as I can in here so that way I can get him back up to leveling. Stop growling, man. Took out an 18. That's what I'm talking about. So, use another potion. I think that's awesome, though. I got a Doug Trio first go around. Like, first one I ran into. Uh, I wonder what this guy's gonna be. If it's Doug Trio, I'm just gonna waste it. I'm just gonna take it out. I'm gonna run into another Doug Trio and just get the experience points for it. The 20, I'm gonna walk away from. You gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them, you know? So, we'll just do a fine whip and that'll take that guy right out for us. And then way on the path we go. The thing about Dicko's Cave, though, is it's not that long, in, in all honesty, unless you do have a low-level water type you want to raise up. Oh, yeah, switching out. But, unless you have a low-level water type you want to raise up, it is a really good place to do that. So, ooh, that ain't good. Let's see if it kills me. I don't think it will. Nah. I dug a trio. That would have taken me right out, though. Whew. I've had that happen to me before. I've just gotten a critical on a dig and taken me right out of that game. See, like, we're already at the end of it. So, this will be the last Pokemon we run into in here. And it's another dug trio. Two in a day. Wow. I cannot believe that. Alright, come on, Zippo. Or Snoop. <laughs> I just saw Zippo down to the bottom there hanging out. Come on, hit that leaf seed. There you go. Yeah. Uh oh. And because I'm paranoid. Like I said about that whole critical hit stuff. There it goes. See what I'm saying? Right there. Done. Yes, we're gonna use another one. Um. Yeah, there goes Zippo. Let's get him out here. He uses Dig though. I'm beat. But hopefully this lead seed will help me out just a tad. See, he's ground. He's not rock, so we'll be able to help out with the Ember. Quit sand attacking me, but come on. Uh -oh. I don't think I have any revives. Oh, don't take me out! Don't take me out! No, no, no! Stop! Oh yeah.
Alright, uh, super potion on you. Yeah, keep doing safe moves like Scratch. Damn! Wasting your moves. There we go. Alright, awesome. So Toko's level 13. And let's get the hell out of this cave before we run into another one. I went to the rock tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's flash could light it up. Hmm, a little bit of foreshadowing from old Game Freak there. Alright, so. I'm going to this house, so this guy will trade you. I can't remember what he'll trade you. Let's find out. I'm looking for a Clefairy. One trade for a Mr. Mime? No, I have my psychic type. So, but if you guys want a Mr. Mime, that's the guy to talk to. So, and it's the same thing with everything. Where if you uh. Like, if you trade him, like, a level 20, you're gonna get a level 20, uh, Mr. Mine. So, you just come down into here. And talk to this guy. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. Have you caught at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? I'm supposed to give you an HM5. What's up, veteran? Have you caught at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? I believe I have. Great, you have caught 22 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations. Here you go. And got HM5. HM or HM Flash lights even the darkest dungeons. And that's what we need. So we're gonna take a little bit of a long strenuous path, but so this way I don't have to do this again, I guess. You guys will see what I'm doing here in a second. We're gonna go all the way back up to Pewter City and we're gonna go to the museum. So show you guys what we can do when we have the ability to cut when we get into the museum. Uh, bring me back all the way down into here. Stonewall Gray, we're in the right place. So, we just come on up into here. And come around. Up. Cut in here. And this is the back of the museum, so... And we talk to this guy right here. Shh! I think this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. Jurassic Park, anybody? It would be, <laughs> it would be great if a Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me. So I have a favor to ask. Take this to the Pokemon lab and get it examined. And I received old amber. Hold on to your butts for what guy that is. So, a lot of you guys already know, so I'm not going to spoil it for you. So, but, yeah. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to heal my Pokemon up in here. As soon as I can get, figure out how to get in the door. And I'm going to pause the video, go back through Diglett's Cave and show you how to do what to do after that so i will be back in a little bit all right guys we're back in vermilion city here so i also went and completely forgot about this one too so sorry guys but i pulled up bubble beam so that we kept from misty and we're going to teach that to our level 15 toka so, oh, I didn't really want to do that, but that's okay. So, that's alright. But, yep, we've got Toka, so, in the midst of all this stuff, you know, we've got 53 points. So, we're going to go, and we're going to find something here. Just take a long way back to the Cerulean, through the grass. Hopefully here. There we go. And an Abra. A worthy foe. Alright, here we go. 
do a bubble beans gotta do. And that didn't do anything. Oh well, let's we'll see if we can find something other than an Abra. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try water gun. Okay. Come on. I just want to do this. I just want to get him a couple more points. Why do you gotta do this to me, game? Why won't you forsaken me? Alright, here we go. We got a ratatata. That's right up our alley. We'll be alright with that. So, bubble beam him. Come on. I can't believe I deleted tackle. Oh well. It's okay. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a another TM or something that's gonna be better than tackle anyway, so. What? Well, Toka is evolving. Yeah. And now we got a war turtle. Now, back onto the journey. Again, we'll travel through here. They're hitting A. Ooh, we'll find our next special. Alrighty, cool. I don't know, I think there might be a rare candy in here. In the comments below, put down if there's a rare candy in here. I can't quite remember. So, we'll come down this way. And back up. The process to get to the, uh, the rock tunnel is pretty, pretty strenuous and long, so... Not really strenuous, I mean, more tedious than anything. So, oop, we'll go this way. And we'll heal our Pokemon up. So, but yeah, that is how you get cut or not cut wow that's how you use cut so you can go and that's how you go getting flash and other stuff get the old amber you can get a mr. mime with cut oh. alright guys my fingers are not working today Unfortunately, we gotta go all the way back through the dig house here. Down around. And cut. Alright, and this is the path that will take us on to the rock tunnel. So, we'll fight one trainer. See what how the level is different it up from here. You have Pokemon with you, you're mine. Alright, yeah, we'll battle. Get an Oddish. Man, come on. Toka ain't gonna get nothing out of an Oddish. Okay, Zebo can get some action in here. You thought that was gonna work, didn't ya? How did that not kill it? Oh, Pokemon logic. No sprout, no. We'll just keep we'll just keep Zippo on this and keep on cranking him down. Another Oddish. No, another Ember should take you out, hopefully here. And it doesn't. Why does it take out a bell sprout and not an Oddish? Especially with this level difference. Well, we'll get it. And a 
bell sprout. So we'll be able to take him out in one ember. Here's the hoping. Yep, there we go. Ah, uh, you deceived me. Yes, I have. But alright, guys. I'm going to stop my video here. So, and in my next video, we're going to continue all the way through and get to the rock tunnel. So, I got a Pokemon to catch it here that's going to help us out getting through the rock tunnel. And we'll do all that in the next episode. So, until then, happy retro gaming, guys. We'll see you next time.